we're docking at our first port. Look how blue the water is. We're in Aruba and we're going snorkeling. It's family cruise time, baby. We're on the Symphony of the Seas, which is one of the biggest cruise ships in the world. It's honestly a little overwhelming just because there's so much to do. There's constant activities. Like it's it's really great because there's so much opportunity, but there's also so much to do that I almost don't know what to do. Like it's like decision overload, decision fatigue. We're here with my dad, my sister, and her husband. Jack's here. My dad's girlfriend, their two kids. My dad's girlfriend's brother. <laughs> and his family and his kids are here. So it's fun, I haven't been on like a big family trip in a long time. Like if we go on family trips, it's usually with my dad and like their two young kids, but it's cool to be on like a big, like extended family trip like this. We should have made t-shirts, like we should have made merch, like tie-dye t-shirts. I'm just doing my skincare for the day. I just got put on this Clarins Double Serum. I'm testing this for a few weeks and I really like it. It's nice under moisturizer for extra hydration, but also I saw Kate Bartlett do this where She'll take a squirt and then, ew. <laughs> She'll put it on the high points of her face as like an extra highlight and I think it looks so beautiful. First day beauty moisturizer. And then I know I'm gonna be reapplying this like a thousand times today, but this is my all time favorite SPF. It's the Shiseido Vitaclear sunscreen. You have to get the Vitaclear version. They have a regular urban environment version, but this kind just goes on almost like a serum. It's 100% clear. And it's just so glowy and beautiful under makeup. It never pills under makeup. It's the good. We got up an hour earlier than we needed to today. Because <laughs> of the time difference. I don't know why that happened. I don't know why we classify ship time to be different than the time it is at the port. Like my phone is set to wherever we are in the world. But the ship runs on a different kind of time. I don't fucking know. It doesn't make sense to me. My dad's girlfriend's brother who's here is um, an ex-Navy commander. So anything I need to know about ships, I can just fucking ask him. He was like writing in our group chat like meet everyone for trivia at 1300. And we're like babes. Not I ain't the one. I hear everyone. All of our rooms are connected through a balcony. I'll show you. <laughs> hey, uh, we are getting ready. There, it, it's hard to move the masses to get ready, but we are getting ready for our snorkeling adventure. We are going to Boca, Catalina, and the Antilla, Antilli uh, shipwreck, and we're going to snorkel and see a lot of different types of fish and hopefully some sea turtles and there's no jellyfish. We're telling all the little kids that there's no jellyfish so that they are comfortable in the water, but I think there are jellyfish. But we cannot wait. Super excited for the adventure. And Greg. Incredible. 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 Mic check one, two. Yeah. Mic check. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah. nice outfit and soaking wet hair is like peak cruise behavior like there are just no rules no one really gives a shit we're on island time mama we're still in Aruba I don't know if you can see it's a really beautiful sunset that's just kind of finishing up but I'm late as hell <laughs> for dinner everyone's already there but we ate lunch at like 2 p.m. and our dinner reservation every single night is 5 15 which I don't I don't mind an early dinner but it's the lunch stack like I had a buffet lunch at 2 p.m. and I just, I don't know if I have the room without taking a shit. And I haven't taken a shit, so we're just, we're going balls into dinner. <laughs> but snorkeling was so much fun. We brought our GoPro, you probably, you probably already seen the GoPro footage at this point, but we never do that, so we're, we're really, it was really fun. It's cool to have an underwater camera. What a novel concept. You'd think like iPhones and shit would be waterproof by 2024, but no. And they say they're waterproof. The fuck they're not. The amount of time I put my phone in rice. Where am I going? 
floor five. It. Roll me through. Continental breakfast. We got two coffees with almond milk. Check. Gluten free toast for the lady. Mm -hmm. English muffin for Jim. Two strawberry jams, butter, uh, two bananas, and a fruit plate. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. All inclusive, baby. Pound it. Thank you, sir. Let me see it. Get a towel. Voila. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a fruit plate. We're in Nassau today. We weren't supposed to come to Nassau at all. We were supposed to go to another Caribbean island. But while we've been here, there have just been the gnarliest, craziest storms to the point where we knew that we weren't going to be able to dock in the other island we were supposed to go to. So they moved everything around. We had an extra sea day, which means if you've never, if you've never been on a cruise before, a sea day is just, you're traveling between ports. So instead of docking for the day, you're just like out, out to sea. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, you? Yeah, 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 I don't get the joke. Thank you so much. Lemon drop. Oh. Yikes. Caroline from Brooklyn, New York. Woo! Tell me the name of this song. He's thinking out loud by Ed Sheeran. Grab the mic. Grab out. I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe it's all part of the plan. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, when I say are you sure, it's probably a wrong answer. <laughs> Part of the hand. <laughs> Maybe just a touch of the hand. Touch of the hand. There's a lot of other ships here in Nassau because of the storm. Like this is the only area where we could dock safely and a lot of other cruise lines. So I think everyone, everyone and their mom is here. But on this trip, I feel like I actually have gotten to know my step siblings so much more. Every single time I'm with them, I'm with them only with adults. Like I'm always with them with my dad, my stepmom, my sister, like other older family members. And this is the first time I've ever seen them with their young cousins. 
were kind of their age and like they're fucking unhinged like it's cool to watch kids be kids like you know those friends you had growing up where they're like super sweet and innocent in front of your parents and then like the second you go downstairs to the basement they're fucking nuts and inappropriate like i've gotten to see that side of them which has been really fun because it's tough like i've never lived in the same house as them when they lived with my dad like they all moved in together during covid even though i visit home as much as i can and like they come to new york like you don't feel like you really know them because you don't spend an extended period of time like this trip i feel like I've really gotten to know them. Obviously, I'm not a parent, but I also haven't been on like a group trip in a long time. I remember in college, like we had like spring break and it like wouldn't be too abnormal for 13 of us to travel together. I forgot how fucking hard it is to mobilize. Like if you're with a group larger than six, you can't do anything. You can't leave anywhere. Like we have this group chat. I'll actually show you. This is really cool. Because the boats are so big, and I wish we had this as a kid because it's just so fucking handy. Like if you couldn't find anyone on the ship when you were younger, like sucks to suck. But now in the Royal Caribbean app, they have this group chat feature where just using cruise Wi-Fi and putting your phone on airplane mode, like the free Wi-Fi, you don't have to buy anything. You can have like this ongoing chat with people on the trip with you. We're always saying like, what's the latest this morning? Uh, half the messages are, Where's Kate? Where's Andrew? One of my two younger siblings. 10 a.m. it is. Make sure Sam and Katie are up and tracking, like tracking to leave. 10 a.m. At the beginning of this trip, I had the deepest zit of all time right here, and I picked it to hell to the point where it was like black and scabbing. It looked so fucking bad. I mean, no one should pick a zit the way that I did. It was deeply underground, and I was like, <sighs> like doing fucking surgery. But it's looking okay. We do what we can with what we have. I feel like even a few months ago, I would have let a zit like that ruin my whole day i wouldn't have wanted to leave the hotel the apartment wherever i was like i really would have let it affect my whole mood and genuinely the only way to get over a hump and start to feel okay with your acne out with your acne out in public for me was exposure therapy like you have to you have to just white knuckle and do it or else you're always going to use makeup as a crutch and never feel okay without makeup in public as i pound on makeup but you you get the point point. and for me that practice has been making videos like i feel like unless i'm doing my makeup actively in a video when i show up in a video it's usually no makeup and like i've had to get really comfortable with what that looks like like i spent hours fucking editing my face and like at the end of the day like you're gonna spend that much time with you like don't hate yourself. We're tracking to leave in nine minutes and I'm the fucking enemy. So let's get dressed. If you've been here for a while, you know this bathing suit. This is my favorite brand, Tropic of Sea. It's founded, I think it might be like a Victoria's Secret angel, some model, but her name is Candace and she just knows how to make a bathing suit for a woman's body. She knows what she's doing. They're high-waisted, but they're not like Betty Boop pinup girl high-waisted. Like I just want like a little bit of extra coverage on the tummy but i still want i still want to feel like i'm in a proper bikini See, like there's something about where the knots lie on this bathing suit that i feel like just like hits right and it just does it just does something for me another thing i really love about this brand is like the ability to mix and match not only like sizes because who the, like who is the same size on top and bottom no one else no one is but also styles like i like that i can do a string bikini top and then a bottom with a little bit more coverage, but also they're gonna be in the same pattern. So it still can look like a set, even though like I'm kind of customizing. I live in New York and I go on like one tropical vacation a year. In actuality, I really only need like three to four bathing suits in my repertoire. So to me, it is worth spending a little more because you're so fucking vulnerable. Like in a bathing suit, like don't cheap out unless, unless you find bathing suits that you really love for less. But like for me, it's really important to feel as comfortable as I can. And I really, this brand is a little bit more expensive, but I really do feel confident in it. Because all the ships are here, like all the different ones who couldn't dock in the other Bahamas, I think it's gonna be really crowded. But there's one beach that's like a 15 minute drive from the port that we're hoping is gonna be a little bit more off the beaten path and chill. So I think that's what we're tracking for. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> we're tracking. Morning, Katie. Somehow, some way, we've mobilized the group. Woohoo! Party time! Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're on live television. Hey. Hey. It's a little breezier than we'd hoped. But it's fine, it's sunny. We're chilling on the beach and now we're in we're in search of mojitos and a virgin mojito for Kate.
Strawberry. Watermelon. Yeah. It's really good. You steered me right. You steered me right. Can I try Lynn's passion fruit? She'll never know. It wasn't me. All right. That's it's really good. good. It's really sweet though, but really good. I literally said out loud, I knew the second we came back from Mojitos, I knew it would be time to get chicken. I knew if we went all the way back, we'd need to go all the way back. I think they have that in Bethesda Row. Yeah. Against all odds. How long did that take you guys to make the trip? A long time. We got jerk chicken wings, some fries, Rachel and Russell got some remoulade, and then they have wings times two. Beach day. Out. Good day. Alright, fit check. You have to pronounce this. this Alright. It's called. I can't see. I can't see. It's called Han Jokoban. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you did that justice. No, but I love these shirts. It's like a silky material. Really silky. Really cute. Silky smooth. And then what are these pantalones? These are thrifted jeans. Oh, and the dogs are out. Alone, I think. And the dogs are out. We're on a cruise, baby. True. You coming? Well, I'm trying to get your whole... Do I not need to get... No, you, you do your best. Okay. But... Talk to me. The dress is from Walmart. This is the Realization Par Dupe. Honestly, it kind of gives spirit Halloween if you look on the inside, but from the outside, she slays. it's looking good. And then I'll never figure out what brand this purse is, but when I was doing Rent the Runway a few years ago, it just came with my order, but I Watch didn't order it. So I was like, fuck it, it's a sign from God. This, sign from God. This is for free. So then I kept it. Mm -hmm. And then my Javianas. The dogs are barking. <laughs> the dogs are barking. No feet for free. <laughs> I've been giving a lot of feet for free on this vacation. These little earring guys are Jenny Bird. And then this necklace is the one we got in Rhode Island. Wait, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> All right, last dinner in the books. Yes. I just said goodbye to the manager. They take the best care of you with allergies on this thing, it's insane. And they, like, I mean, they've always been that way, like, even always. as a kid, like, a kid. they were really they were ahead of their time. Yep. But every night they come around with the yeah, menu of the next day so that I can pick out what I want and they can make sure that they can do it. Like, no dairy, no gluten. And now we're going to an ice, they just like, it sounds fake, everything that we're saying, but we're going to the ice we're going show. To the ice show. <laughs> so overzealous about alcohol like obviously we, there's a drink package on this ship we brought a full thing of rum a full thing of tequila untouched but you know hopefully the staff can have its way with this but all right it's time <laughs> everyone else dropped their bags off the night before but Jack's mono suitcase is so beat up. I don't know if you can tell at the bottom, it's like really crumbling. And we were just nervous that if we dropped it off and they were manhandling it, it wouldn't make it to Utah. We just needed to make it to Utah. Okay, it's a nightmare fuel of a travel day. It's Christmas Eve. We're at the Miami airport. I just hate Miami and I'm not afraid to say it with my whole chest, but they won't let us check in our bags for our later flight until 12. And we came to the airport right from the ship, like hoping we could drop our shit and just like take off, but Yep. They won't let us yet, so I'm gonna, I got some dunks, and it's either gonna be sewer water or it's gonna change me. So there's no in between with Duncan. Looks good. It's pretty good today. It's pretty freaking right, good, Dunky. Right? right? We needed day. this.
Okay, we popped into Marc Jacobs. How good are these? Like just a plain for summer and they're really soft too. Like this bag says the sack bag. What if it was the sacks bag? Almost. Yeah, just write a little S there. Okay, we're at Bash, they're having a sale. This is just so me, it hurts. It's so good, and it is a really good sale. Everything is like 40% off, plus the Amelia Earhart jacket. It's 50% off. Oh, oh! Like, I just know I would wear this my, the rest of my life. So it's originally $7.95, and then at the 50% off, it's like a little, I think it's a little over 300, but we were just playing around with it. Like, it is gorgeous, but it's not thick enough for the price, like for this, for this price, I would want this to be warm enough to replace, like not like a puffer winter jacket, but like almost like a peacoat winter jacket. Like I would wanna be warm enough where I can just wear this outside and I'm good. And it's too thin. We were just saying somehow we tripped and fell into like a Bell Harbor dupe where every store was like Prada, Dior, and it's like so crazy to watch people sitting there and like dead ass shopping. Like they're shopping for jeans and Prada, you know? Get a grip. Get a grip. G-A-G, gag. Even if I was super mega rich, do you think I'd be getting my jeans at Prada? Like, I don't even think that's the best place to get jeans. <laughs> Definitely not their special. No! Like, go to fucking Levi's like everyone else. It's funny. It's like there's some people that I follow on Instagram who people will link stuff they wear, and they're like dead ass linking a $1,000 pair of pants. You just, it really makes you wonder. That commission is good. That commission, that commission keeps the lights on. So maybe, maybe I'll start doing that. Yeah. Watch this space.